you're welcome once again to another video right in this channel and of course in today's video we bring you a significant breakthrough in the fight against forgery and fraud in the kwazulu natal here in south africa while the law enforcement agencies have made a remarkable arrest while they were actually uncovering a sophisticated forgery operation and of course it's more like this is what we'll be talking about in this particular video well stay tuned as we explore the details of this operation and its implications for security and financial integrity in the region well uh during a meticulously coordinated raid kwazulu natal law enforcement agencies successfully apprehended an individual involved in a complex forgery operation well this individual whose identity has not been disclosed belonged to a foreign nationality while the operation was centered around producing fraudulent documents including permits for transnet kwazulu natal police identification cards bank statements and even counterfeit south african hundred rand notes the level of sophistication exhibited by this operation is truly astonishing while well, this is actually indicating a deep understanding of the security features embedded within these criminal documents and of course currencies believe me this is something that i find so absurd i mean to think of things even starting up this happens to be an illegal foreigner how exactly did he even find his way into the country how exactly did he get his hands on all his equipment all the machines that he has been using to carry out all this fraud and all this forgery believe me these are the type of people that saps are actually after and whenever they get sent back to their countries for committing such crimes it's almost going to paint the picture that south africans are being xenophobic or that south africans don't want foreigners in their country country i mean this is totally absurd because it's not like we don't want foreigners here it's just like okay if you're coming to the country please get yourself some papers get yourself some documents because that's the only thing that can make people to know where you're coming from that's the only thing that can identify you in another person's land so it doesn't matter where you are be it a south african be it a nigerian a cameroonian or any other african country or be, be it you're from any other country if you should find yourself in another person's country it is very normal that you look for your way get yourself identified get yourself registered into the system that is the only way you can actually be in peace in that particular area well let's actually talk about the impact on security and financial integrity well this arrest comes at a critical juncture coinciding with a special investigating unit's recent authorization to probe the department of home affairs and investigate the issuance of south african identity cards well why it remains unclear how the suspect acquired the bank cards found in their possession this incident highlights the growing problem of identity theft and financial fraud while these criminal activities directly challenge national security efforts and of course undermines the trust placed in financial institutions while authorities are now conducting investigations to determine the extent of the network behind this operation including any potential local compliances and of course the methods used to distribute these forgeries it is clear that enhanced security measures and increased vigilance are urgently needed from both the public and private sectors to combat the sophisticated techniques employed by modern day foggers this is actually something i want us to talk about i mean how exactly do you think this guy was able to get his hands on such equipment and how many documents do you think this man must have produced before he's been apprehended i mean we're talking about fake identity cards we're talking about the registration numbers for police officers we're talking about people having fake 100 uh, nine, 100 uh, rands notes flying around i mean this is something that's very much common in nigeria and maybe other parts of africa where people go around and make fake, uh, fake documents i mean it has never happened with the with the south african run 
right now this is what we're talking about where exactly are we going to well i feel like this is just a very big blow to the home affairs uh, institution because just recently they actually made it look like they have to start investigating everyone working in the home affairs and of course that's just to avoid certain scenarios like this well as the investigation continues it is crucial to recognize the ongoing battle against forgery and fraud this arrest serves as a stark reminder of the need for a coordinated response from law enforcement agencies, regulatory bodies, and the community at large. Together, we must safeguard South African institutions and, of course, citizens from the detrimental effects of such sophisticated criminal activities, of course, which is actually being done by foreign nationals. Well, I strongly feel like this can be achievable if we work collaboratively. I mean, if this is done, then we can ensure a safer and more secure future for all. Well, thank you for joining us in today's video as we are actually uncovering a significant breakthrough in the fight against forgery and fraud. Well, this particular arrest that we talked about actually sheds light on the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies and the importance of proactive measures to combat these crimes. Well, stay informed. Stay vigilant and of course together, let's build a society that is resilient against forgery and fraud. Well, do not forget to like and subscribe for more updates on important security issues. Until next time, stay tuned and stay glued.